Hello Capricorn, welcome to a love reading. These uh, readings are meant to be general love readings, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love and who you might be dealing with and where it could all be headed if we have time for that. Um, so let's jump right in for Capricorn. What do we need to know for Capricorn? Birds and birds guides for Capricorn. What is coming their way in love? What is coming their way in love? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Express your love at the bottom of the deck. Let's take that. Okay. What else for Capricorn? What's coming their way in love? What's coming their way in love? Okay. Man, Capricorn, you guys are killing me. So coming together flew out of the deck. This is kind of reunion, destiny, meeting, coming together. Second chances came up as well. So I thought, wow, second chances at love, a reunion between soulmates. I was really excited. <laughs> and then I see difficult decision and cold shoulder. So it's almost like someone's like, not sure, distant, cold, <laughs> unemotional. So I'm trying to figure out what this is all about. We'll see. Are you just not interested in coming together and having a second chance with someone? Is someone wanting a second chance with you, but they would need to make a difficult decision and come out of the cold? We shall see. Anything else for Capricorn? Oops. Regarding love towards Capricorn in love what's coming towards capricorn in love adjacent possibilities and the world so this is kind of like seven of cups with the two of wands is almost like what i'm getting here so someone that is evaluating their options looking at different possibilities um the world is their oyster they have uh so many places they could possibly go so let's see what the heck this is about can we get some insight, please, for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know regarding love? What does Capricorn need to know about what's coming towards them in love? Let's see, Capricorn. What's coming your way? Ace of Cups reverse, Seven of Pentacles reverse, and the Hangman. That's not great. Uh, the Emperor's Reverse, Eight of Swords Reverse. The Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy. Strength, Leo Energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay. The Star Reverse, the Emperor's Reverse, Ace of Cups Reverse. I feel like there's something that related to love and emotions where there's uh, a feeling of hopelessness about whether you, you will be able to create or manifest or have abundance, perhaps in love. Um, the Emperor's Reverse, I'm also getting um, losing confidence for some reason. Like they're not very confident that they can make something grow or happen. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is feeling like, especially with the Emperor's reverse, someone invested in the wrong thing and so it didn't grow. Or they planted the seeds in the wrong place. So they it's not the best harvest. It's not really a long lasting harvest or something that they can use. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone could feel like they wasted their time, their energy, their efforts, but now they're stuck with the hangman or perhaps they're help they're seeing a situation in a different way this could be you this could be your person because you know this is what's coming towards you and if you the energies can be flipped eight of swords reverse someone um getting out of their head uh overcoming feelings of fear and imprisonment this could be somebody that's seeing a way out of their situation um however with the star reverse healing is going to take time or more faith is needed or more healing is needed here 
So let's see what the heck is going on. Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius uh, or a Leo. It does not have to be, but what do we need to know for Capricorn Spirit? Any guidance messages, please, for Capricorn regarding these energies? Inside clarity, please. Oops, let me do that again. Inside clarity, please, for Capricorn happening here. Okay. Ace of Cups. Okay, I already knew that this deck was going to give me problems. Ace of Cups reverse. What's going on here? Ace of Cups reverse. What happened? Why is Ace of Cups reverse? Five of Wands. Okay. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Cups. The Hangman. What's going on with the Hangman? Just want to get some initial energies out here so I could get a better picture. Ten of Cups. Can I get one more for the Hangman? Why is the Hangman here? Six of Wands. Why is the Star Reverse? Why is the Star Reverse? The Hangman. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. Someone has an idea of what they want, desire, what their wish is. Heartfelt wish. This is a wish that they wish was granted. <laughs> this is satisfaction, fulfillment. You did not get this. This is what you still are looking for. You are another person. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is what someone wants, the magician. But the stars reverse because of the hangman and the eight of pentacles. Someone needs to work on putting focus on putting energy on, etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera, becoming unstuck, seeing things differently. The hangman, clarity. And the hangman is ten of cups and six of swords. So it's like someone's dreaming about success and happiness, but they're stuck. Why are they stuck? Tell me about the hangman. Can I get one more for the hangman? Waiting. Someone's waiting. Ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I'm speaking to a Capricorn. Who is waiting for their wish to be granted. This is someone that's waited and waited and possibly invested in what they feel should have already. It's, it's like they invested time, energy, and effort into something that should have already happened by now. But it's not happening. Otherwise, why the Ace of Cups reverse? Why the Empress reverse? You know? And this Five of Wands is not fun. Yeah, someone's waiting for something, even the smallest inclination that they're going to get what they want. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? Eight of Wands. So the Ace of Cups reverse is heartache, disappointment, feeling emotionally like drained or emotionally spent. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This is all connected. There's the Empress. This is all connected. Someone I feel is in their head about the conflict, the drama, uh, the arguments that have been happening or happened in the past. There could be multiple people involved here with the Five of Wands and it's just a mess. And someone is still wishing for things to turn around despite the fact that nothing has happened. Tell me about the Emperor's Reverse. Tell me about the Emperor's Reverse. I don't see any offers on the board. I don't see any beginnings on the board. I don't see any endings on the board. So I'm trying to figure out like what is going on. It's like someone's literally stuck in in a situation where nothing is happening. There's no beginnings. There's no endings. It's just kind of like the car is on neutral. Tell me about the Empress reverse. The only thing that's happening is that nothing is happening. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me about the Empress reverse. Why is the Empress reverse? Yeah, four of swords, literally. There's no action, no movement, no communication. 
just thinking, reflecting, resting, and possibly healing here from what has happened. Talking about the Empress Reverse. The Empress Reverse could also be someone that's upset at the fact that, you know, nothing's really growing, taking, nothing's really happening. Nothing is really abundant or manifesting. Talking about the Empress Reverse. Why is the Empress Reverse here? King of Wands. Yeah, see the opposite here. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This Empress would wish for this King of Wands, this Magician. They want to be this Eight of Pentacles, I think, even. To have a new beginning here. Ace of Wands, the star. There's a star. To have a new beginning, hope for the future, faith. This could also be your person. Hoping for something that they're not getting. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Magician. Why is the Nine of Cups here with a Magician? King of Swords. King of Swords, Eight of Wands. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Okay. What I'm seeing here is that somebody wants to clear the air or talk, I feel. King of Swords, Eight of Wands. They want to work on things, Eight of Pentacles, or put in effort. But I feel like they're putting effort into something that cannot grow. It's not meant to grow. It's not meant to be different than what it is. I feel like someone's checked out. Someone could be leaving here. Six of Swords, Four of Swords. They just, maybe the Three of Wands, they're looking, what else is out there for me? Adjacent possibilities, the world. Difficult decision. I feel like this is all related. Let's look at this person that you're dealing with. Spirit, tell me about the person Capricorn is dealing with or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person for Capricorn? Page of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this other person? Queen of Cups Reverse. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this could be somebody that wants to make you an offer that's a very small offer. Going out on a date, a promise of something more. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the pa Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups, okay. So why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? What's going on here with the Queen of Cups reverse? Justice. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? I really hope this is in that same energy. Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Capricorn. I feel for my Capricorns, I do. There is something hot coming in for you. Something completely new. And then last month, we kind of talked about someone that's scared to lose you, a hot mess of a situation. And before that, it was almost like that someone still being hung up on you. So I'm really wondering if this page of cups, page of pentacles, ace of cups, knight of swords, is someone still trying, still trying for a second chance here. And I feel like you are possibly a cold shoulder or a queen of cups reverse. I feel like you're looking elsewhere or you're interested in something else. Um, and this person, they really, yeah, it, five of pentacles, ace of swords is like they want to come out of the cold. They want to clear the air. They want to talk to you. But I feel like you cut your losses already. Tell me about the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? Why is the six of swords here? The Devil and the Ten of Wands. There you are, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like for you, 
you just this has just been heavy 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 and there's a seven of cups behind that at the bottom of the deck i feel like you're evaluating other options because all of this all this has done is kept you stuck you're leaving or you're wanting to leave or you're wanting to see you leave all of this behind i feel and there's this someone else that's like trying to still make things right can i get one more for the page of pentacles and the queen of cups reverse the higher font and the knight of pentacles yeah this person is possibly even going to propose or or want to um have a long-term commitment with you or make you promises about a long-term commitment concern can i get one more for this other person yeah this person's worried can i get one more for this other person a message of concern and concern so i feel like this person when you talk to them or when you have a conversation with them they're not going to hear what they want to hear they're worried because i think they already know you probably have already talked to them about this or you probably left a month ago or two months ago or have talked about this what else, what else do we need to know about this other person? What else do we need to know about this other person for Capricorn? The beaver. Oh, that's so sweet. The hyena, though, at the bottom of the deck. So the, the beaver is very family-oriented, wants to provide, wants to put in hard effort and work into their family unit. I feel like this person is coming to you in this energy, but you're not going to tell them what... You're going to tell them the opposite of what they want to hear. Um, you, you did a number on this person, I feel, because they, they're still like hung up on you here. Where's all of this headed for Capricorn? Where's all of this headed for Capricorn? the nine of of cups reverse i feel like this is your person's wish right here is not going to be granted or is delayed from happening where is all of this headed for capricorn where is all of this headed page of cups five of wands reverse someone's gonna cut They want to still try. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. And someone else is like, especially in this deck, this looks like the Eight of Cups to me. This is the, technically the Nine of Pentacles. Someone single, free, unattached, independent, successful on their own. But to me, I just think of the Eight of Cups. So I feel that this is ongoing Capricorn. Now, if you're sitting there rolling your eyes because you're just over all of this and this whole situation, I feel you. Check out your 2022 outlook. Lots of awesome messages there for you about what's coming up later this year. It's going to be something hot and, and, and awesome. So, so if you're rolling your eyes right now, maybe check that out. But I feel like, unfortunately, you did a number on this person. I feel like this person is very stubborn um I, I i'm almost picking up like a like a like a desperate energy uh because all they can think about is wow this is really not working out the way that i thought wow they're really not gonna listen to me wow they really blocked me you know that kind of energy like someone that's just surprised that what you said you're followed up on, following up on or what what happened between you was final I think you're just ready to go somewhere else. I think you're ready for some for something new. What else is out there for me? Can I get one more for the world and adjacent possibilities? I'm just curious. Tell me about the world and adjacent possibilities for Capricorn. Yeah, the world. <laughs> this is this is where you, I feel you are headed. You want to completely close out this chapter and start a new one thank you so much for watching capricorn i hope you enjoyed this reading uh if you enjoyed it and you have not subscribed already please like and subscribe so you can see more videos from me and i will see you all in another video very soon take care